Hi guys, welcome to this 27th tutorial in this series of programming peak microcontrollers with flow code for absolute beginners. This is part 2 of interfacing an SD card with a peak microcontroller tutorial. In part 1, we explain the connections of an SD card to a peak microcontroller. In this simple example, we're going to use the peak 18F45K22. The chip select pin of the SD card is connected to RC0 of the peak microcontroller. The data in of the SD card is connected to SPI data out of the peak microcontroller. The data out of the SD card is connected to SPI data in of the peak microcontroller. And the clock pin of the SD card is connected to SPI clock of the peak microcontroller. In this second part, we're gonna use flow code FET component to write or read data to an SD card. So let us go to flow code. Let us insert a new FET component on our dashboard. Under the storage component group, click on FET. It says this FET component allow access to read and write files on SD, SDHC or MMC card. The component automatically detect the file system on the card or initialize. So FET16 and FET32 are fully supported. So we're going to add it to our dashboard panel. Let us insert an LCD display. We're going to use this LCD display to display the different processes when we are writing to our SD card. So under the output group, we're going to use this LCD display. Add to our dashboard panel. The first thing we're going to do is to define the connections of our SD card to our peak microcontroller. If you click on the SD card under the properties, it says type FET. It can be used for SD or SDHC card. The maximum current files, this specify how many concurrent files can be open at the same time. So in our example, we're going to open only one file. So we're going to set this configuration to one. The connections here, you can specify where you're going to connect your SD card. You can use other software if your PIC does not have an SPI module or if those hardware SPI modules are already used, maybe they are connected for something else. Then you can select software module. Then you'll have to specify on which pin you're going to connect your chip select pin, your data out, your data in, and your serial clock. In this example, we're going to use channel 1. Our PIC microcontroller, the PIC 18F45K22 has got two SPI channels. We're going to use the first one. The prescaler SPI initialized clock divider. The frequency should be under 400 kHz to allow startup to work. So because we're going to use 8 MHz, we're going to divide our frequency by 64 It's going to give us 125 kHz, which is below 400 kHz. The next thing we're going to specify our chip select pin. We're going to connect our chip select pin to port C0. So we're going to say port C0. And that's all guys for the SPI connections. Let us define our LCD as well. We're going to connect our LCD to port B. So we're going to leave these default connections. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to learn some few micros. If you drag the component micro, open under the FET1 this is our FET component these are the possible micros that you can use the first one is append string to file this micro appends a string or byte array of data to the end of the file that is currently open and update the size parameter of the file the file has to be open first before using this function it returns zero if the string or byte array has been appended successfully Otherwise, it's going to repent a value which is going to be greater than zero if an error has occurred while opening the string. The next function is create file. This creates a file in the current folder location of the card. It's going to return a zero if the operation was also successful. And delete file. This function searches for and delete a file in the current folder. It returns zero as well if the operation was successful. Initialize this micro attempt to communicate with the SD card and if it's successful, it set up the file system. So you don't have to specify whether your SD card is formatted 
with FET16 or FET32, uh, this function is going to detect it automatically. The next micro that is going to be of interest to us is open file. This function searches for and opens a file for reading or writing. If the operation was successful, it's going to return zero. The open folder, if you want to open a folder, read byte from file. This read a byte from the current open file. The write byte to buffer. This write a single byte to the current 512 byte local sector buffer. So you can go through all these micros and see which one you can use depending on your application. Let us create a simple project. We're going to display waiting for card while we are busy initializing our card. If the card is successfully initialized, it's found and correctly formatted, then we're going to display creating file. Then the next step, we're going to create a text file. If this file already exists, we're going to display on our LCD that the file already exists. And if this file does not exist, then it will be created. After the file is created, then we're going to open the file. And the last step, we're going to write some content on the SD card. So the first thing, we're going to initialize our LCD display. Component micro, click our LCD, and we're going to start. This function is used to initialize our LCD. Click OK. The next step, we're going to display on our LCD, waiting for card. Component micro, we're going to use the LCD again. We're going to write a string. We're going to write, waiting for card. Okay. okay, let us assign the file name and the content that we're going to write to our SD card. We're going to use the calculation icon, double click. We created three variables. The first one is a byte variable, return value. We're going to use this to return the value whenever we do anything to our SD card. Then we've got two string variables. The first one is file name and the file content. The size of the file name is 20 characters. And the size of the file content, we're going to use 34 characters. So the first thing we're going to say, file name, goes to text, txt, test.txt. You always have to specify the extension of the file that you're going to create. In this case, we're going to create the text file. And let us initialize our file content. We're going to write, writing to SD card with flow code. And lastly, we're going to initialize the return value variable as well. We're going to initialize it with one. Click OK. The next thing, we're going to initialize our SD card. We're going to create a loop. So it's going to keep on looping until the SD card is successfully initialized. In this loop, we're going to say while the return value is greater than zero, because if the initialization is successful, it's going to return a value of zero. Then we're going to skip out of this loop. We're going to use the component micro. We're going to initialize our SD card and we're going to return the value of our initialization. And after one second delay, then we're going to loop again until the initialization is successful. Once the initialization is successful, return value is going to be zero and we're going to jump out of the loop. We're going to clear our screen. LCD, clear. Then we're going to display creating file on our LCD display. LCD, we're going to display a string, creating file. Okay. Then we're going to use our FET component micro to create a file. It says you have to specify the name of the file. We're going to use that variable that we have already declared file name. And the return value, we're going to store it in the return variable. Click OK. We're going to check if the file creation was successful. If return, it basically means if it's greater than zero, file creation was not successful. Maybe the file already exists. So we're going to display print string file exists. But if the return value was zero, it basically means the file was created successfully. Then we're going to display print string, file, created, click OK. After a one second delay, it's going to be one second, we're going to clear our screen, then display opening file, then we're going to open our file. 
So the first thing I'm gonna clear the LCD screen, clear, then gonna display print string opening file, okay. Then we're gonna open our file that we have just created. We're gonna use the fed micro open file and the file name that we're gonna open file name and we're gonna return return value click ok so if the file opens successfully we're gonna check again so return value has to be zero if the file opens successfully so if the file did not open we're gonna display on our lcd file error so display print string file error okay but if our file opens successfully then we're gonna display on our lcd print string file opened okay then after one second delay we're gonna start writing some content so it's gonna be one second delay it does clear our lcd display clear then we're gonna display writing content writing content let us move our cursor to the second line so we're gonna move the cursor to the second line the y-axis is gonna be one okay then we're gonna write some content on our file we're gonna say append string to file and we're gonna write Whatever we have already declared in this variable file content, you can also write it directly your string in this ex expression section. And we're gonna return return value. Okay. We're gonna check again if the content was written successfully. So if our return variable is greater than zero, then we know there were some errors. We're gonna display on our LCD data error okay but if everything was written successfully then we're gonna display print string content written okay and that is gonna be all guys for this example after this we're just gonna go into an endless loop our microcontroller is not gonna do anything so let us simulate our project. Let us save it first. Then simulate. You can see creating file, writing content, and content written. Let us build our project and load the code into our peak. Gonna stop the simulation. Then I'm gonna build compile to X so that it can generate an X file. So compile. The compilation was successful. Click on close. So we're gonna load our code into our PIC microcontroller. We are using a PIC development board. Our SD card is connected to port C. Let us load our code. SD card. Right. Let us disconnect our SD card and plug it into our PC and read our file this is our sd card is a one gig sd card we formatted it with fed 16 open you can see there's a text file open it says writing to sd card with flow code basically this is how you can use the fed component with flow code you can go through all those micros to learn some other functions that you might use depending on your requirement and this is going to be all guys for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.